All right, I just want to show this little gruffus pump out. It's pretty neat, a little booster pump. Um, it's designed to take a very high water table or a city water situation, um, or in this case, a flow well that's delivering about 20 psi. And lady's running. Let's get out of here. She's got a two-story house. She has a heat pump up on the second story, and at 20 pounds is not enough to get up there. So she's got this little pump installed by somebody. Fortunately, it wore out in about two years. But as the demand increases, turning up a little bit. So there we go. So it maintains. It has a little, uh, like a little bladder tank built in here, and so it regulates. It tries to regulate that flow. Uh, pressure by it's a variable speed drive almost like a submersible pump motor and uh, impeller stack in here I think it's got like four or five little stacks and then the motors back here and the little tank is right here and this is where it's got the air inlet it's all built into the plastic housing um, yeah let me turn that off and then it shuts off at 50 so it even kind of tries to hold for a second. Okay, so the two green across means it's running. And then when we use water, it, I guess it simulates it's starting to flow. It means it's running. Her old pump had aired out and it had two little red lines right there. Alright, somebody was nice enough to build her a little enclosure to put over it, cover it up. It's getting pretty cold down here, so it's a good thing, but if it's cold, she's running her heat pumps. This thing's going to stay nice and warm. <laughs> that water's probably 80 degrees coming out of that blow well. It's pretty deep. Probably like 1,400 feet. Um, anyway, thought I'd just share that. Neat little pump. I've never used one of those before, but... Every pump has its application.